Women of today have come a long way since the 18th century. However, as a society, we still have a long way to go. We are constantly battling for our rights of freedom to our voice and bodies. Throughout history, women were always subjected to be property for others, but never for oneself. Always having to prioritize a life that they never chose, but was chosen for them. Never having a choice to choose between what they wanted and what they had to do. The lives of women were completely dedicated to their husbands, morning, noon, and night. History has repeatedly taught us that proper women had to be domesticated, fertile, pious, and submissive. Until the Enlightenment Revolution took place and changed the game for the future of men and women. The Enlightenment Revolution inspired reason, individualism, skepticism, and the scientific method. This revolution paved the way for our modern day society. Before looking onto the 21st century feminist movement, first we need to look at history through William Horgrass' Marriage a la Mode to understand people of the 18th century's views on what was happening at the time. The breakfast scene, a painting set in London in the 18th century, shows the lives of a young married couple who had an arranged marriage in order to save a merchant's son's family from bankruptcy while giving his future wife, the daughter of the alderman, status in higher class. While it was only a financial agreement between the alderman and the merchant, usually arranged marriages were to settle political tensions. Religion and politics have always been associated, which explains the position on the relationship of church and state were framed partly by the political conditions of local context, which was explained in the article by Pryor. In Marriage a la Mode, the series opens up with the alderman and a merchant working on the arranged marriage for their children. The daughter will be given status to the higher class while the son's family will no longer be bankrupt. Looking at the young woman's face, she looks heartbroken by this agreement, while a young man does not seem interested by what is happening at the moment. Throughout the series, the wife and her lover enjoyed many nights together, as did the husband with other prostitutes. As the series progressed, the husband became more aware of the situation, until at the very end when the young lady and her lover were caught ending the series with the deaths of all of the characters. While married, the young couple did not honor the act of marriage, nor did they have any regards for the consequences for their afterlife with God. In the background of the painting, you can see relics and symbols of religion displayed all on the mantle and the pictures of Virgin Mary, Jesus, and other religious figures which are mentioned in the Bible on the back wall. While the couple with signs of an ardent night, messy rooms, and a concerned accountant were emphasized in the foreground, showing the act of leaving behind religion. The young man's ragged clothing and the panties of a woman or possibly various women falling out of his petticoat just showed his night was full of passion, but not from his wife. While the young wife looks flushed as if blushing from a passionate night in the same room that breakfast was being served. The fallen books and upside down chairs were only proof to her adulterous act. While the woman's panties falling out of her husband's petticoat are proof of his adulterous act. Infidelity in this household was showcased in front of God with no concern of punishment, which only proves that this young couple has strayed from religion to live a life of comfort and liberty while being chained together in holy matrimony. Many people during the Enlightenment did as this young couple, living comfortably without the fear of religion behind their backs. One of the Enlightenment's ideals was the separation of church and state, which the painting heavily represented. Religion was pushed to the background to emphasize the act of shifting away from the church. The separation of church and state showed a palpable change of balance between the churches and wider society, as stated by Cornfield. Frightened religious leaders watched in anger and fear as the broad of English society became secular, slowly attenuating a Christian tradition, as Cornfield stated. Due to the lack of religious control, which English society would use to remain in power over their subjects, the young couple's appearance to their peers and the viewers looked unkempt and unsatisfied. The audience could clearly tell by the disastrous nature of their marriage that they were both having affairs. English society was slowly shifting away from the controlling grasp of the government and finally being free. Well, most people were able to be free. This was possibly due to the different time in which they were living. There was more liberty between the couple, especially for the young women. 
In the breakfast scene, the young woman's posture is open and confident while dominantly looking at the viewers. She uses so much space in the painting as a viewer, one would assume she oversees the house. In the 21st century, she probably would have been the head of household since her family has provided the money for their lifestyles. However, during the 18th century, this would have been a weird scene for society. A proper woman in a room full of men that are supposed to dominate her? But she is the one that's dominating? As an undomesticated, dominant, impious, and an inattentive wife to her husband, she was the definition of a dangerous woman that would bring down society. The sixth painting story of the young couple in Marriage a la Mode was not only a tragic story, but an open critique against the higher class. The higher class had the money and power to do whatever they liked without a care. However, the higher class also had qualities of the lower class, such as adultery. Prostitutes were considered the lowest of the low in English society, always being criticized for being sexually active with different men throughout their lives. However, Lady Squanderfield was sexually active with Silvertongue, the family lawyer, while in a marriage with Lord Squanderfield. However, Lord Squanderfield potentially could have slept with prostitutes demonstrating the double standard between men and women that still occur to this day. Hogarth has always insisted on depicting the rough and tumble London he knew and loved, as explained by Capan, confirming that Lord and Lady Squanderfield were inspired characters for his breakfast scene. Having been exposed to different people and lifestyles, Hogarth accentuated and celebrated the full bulls and the full leaves of British society, as explained by Capan. Apart from Marriage a la Mode, Hogarth created other series in the same style, such as A Harlot's Progress, which is about a young girl who was tricked into prostitution. The low-class woman had no other way to leave her newly found life that she did not want, but was deemed as a prostitute and a dangerous woman throughout the series. Comparing these two series of paintings side by side, Lady Squanderfield and the young girl both are from different classes. However, they had a similar situation. However, Lady Squanderfield chose to live a life unfaithfully to please herself while chained to marriage. While the young girl was tricked into prostitution when initially she wanted no part. Women in English society, whether a woman with status or a dangerous low-class woman, were always treated the same by men however they wanted, never being valued for human beings. While men, on the other hand, did not have to suffer the pain of being a trapped woman who could only have sex with their significant other and have children to care for until their very end. William Hogarth came from a low-income family and worked as an apprentice, which inspired his paintings representing the Britain he loved. His paintings were also an open critique against anyone, whether it being from high class or low class. All of his paintings show life of London, and with time shifting from pre-Enlightenment London to a new era after Scientific Revolution and the Enlightenment Revolution. At the beginning of this project, the breakfast scene I had come to met has now become the, a breakfast scene completely different from originally what I had thought. While doing this project, I have found new reasons to love this picture. But at the beginning, when I chose this picture, the only reason I chose it was because of the young woman in the middle of the painting. I found her so fierce and so carefree in a messy room surrounded by worried men, completely different from what you usually see in everyday women. After doing all the research, I have found the story of the breakfast scene, which of course all artworks have stories, but this painting has represented the past, the present, and the future. The lives in this painting during the Enlightenment show women and men's past while also showing how far we have gotten to present day feminism and equality. And also to finally see how far the future will take us for equality. Moving away from history, it is only a reminder to look back and not repeat past mistakes. Hogarth was not actively fighting for enlightenment, nor for equality, nor for pity. But he showed history as well did many other artists, philosophers, authors, and engineers who were at the front of the revolution to influence scientific discoveries, ethics, and equality between men and women. Since the 18th century, the view on women has drastically changed, now influencing our modern-day women. Of course, not everything has been revolutionized completely, but equality is moving forward, even if it takes time.